Hollywood Studios today, and today is particularly exciting because all the pre-shows are back. So today's theme is pre-shows. We're gonna do everything, Mickey and Minnie's, uh, Tower of Terror, probably Slinky Dog because I'm wearing this shirt, but we have a Rise of the Resistance boarding pass. Uh, we don't know what the crowds are gonna look like today because it's still July 4th weekend, technically. It's Monday, and I don't know, I'm just excited to be here today. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is only a 30 minute wait. We've only seen this pre-show once last March before the shutdown. It is one of our favorite pre-shows. We've watched it on YouTube many times. We're excited to see it again in person. Something that we always like to keep in mind or mention when talking about Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is it's easy to miss is that the premise behind this is that we are going to the movie theaters, hence the Chinese theater, to see Mickey and Minnie's newest cartoon and that's where the chaos ensues. So easy to miss that sometimes but the marquees are out front the setting is there with the chinese theater and that just enhances the story just a little bit this here locomotive? I don't know, Coop, but it seems like a lot of paperwork. Thanks! You'll be back in a jiffy to pick you all up! I don't really think I agree to his plan, but I guess he wants you in the cartoon, so watch your step. I don't really know where you're going. definitely lived up to the hype. I feel like the pre-show has got to be on the list of best pre-shows at Disney and I don't know if that's controversial or not but I'm here to say that it's awesome. I feel like the effects make the story better. I feel like it's a lot easier to understand what's going on and overall that's a great ride. How do you feel about this song playing? I'm not well. 
Every time they play Steve and Peggy's song, it gets you, doesn't it? It does. Do you try to avoid coming on Sunset Boulevard? No, I do love Sunset Boulevard, and I love Captain Peggy. It just, I do cry every time I watch it. So time for the Hollywood Tower Hotel, Tower of Terror, which in my opinion is the second best pre-show on all the property, only behind the Haunted Mansion. Let us know down in the comments below, what are your favorite pre-shows to see in Walt Disney World or Disneyland? It will rule the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Hollywood, 1939. Amid the glitz and the glitter of a bustling young movie town at the height of its golden age, the Hollywood Tower Hotel was a star in its own right. A beacon for the show business elite. Now, Something is about to happen that will change all that. The time is now on an evening very much like the one we have just witnessed. Tonight's story of the Twilight Zone is somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. This, as you may recognize, is a maintenance service elevator, still in operation, waiting for you. We invite you, if you dare, to step aboard, because in tonight's episode, you are the star. And this elevator travels directly to the Twilight Zone. <laughs> One of our favorite details about Tower of Terror happens just past the photo pass station right before you get to the gift shop. Here's the sunset room. If you look against the wall, you can see the dining menu for the very last night that the hotel was in operation. So it's right here. Here's the menu for Halloween 1939. Started with some hors d'oeuvres, soups, fish, and different entrees. Things from the grill, side items, salads, desserts. It's right here behind this plant right next to the sunset room. Would you have eaten there? Yeah, absolutely. What did they have for dessert? <laughs> Peach shortcake, apple pie and cream, and a ghetto chocolate a rolled mom. This seems fancy. This might be a little above our caliber. You gotta celebrate Halloween. That's true. So this may just seem like a very boring wall, and in some ways it is. They're right outside Tower of Terror, and this is where the extended queue for Tower of Terror has been housed since reopening, and now that they've closed it off, maybe, maybe that means they're getting it ready for Phantasmic, which the queue is right behind there. We'll see. So next up is Rock and Roller Coaster featuring Aerosmith, which Captain, you really don't even like that ride, do you? No, I really don't. But we haven't seen the pre-show in so long, so we're gonna get some backstage passes and check it out. Okay, so we're taking bets. My bet is that the poster inside is going to be Olivia Rodrigo because they always have Disney Channel stars. But was this most record, this most recent record, wasn't done through Disney, was it? 
No, but the, it, I feel like it would still be her. That's okay. my bet. I bet it's still Jonas Brothers from like 2009. So you were thinking along this right line, Sophia Carson, not too far off, but not Olivia Rodrigo. How do you feel? Uh, I mean, I'm a little disappointed, but it's okay. I had a really good line if it was going to be her, but it's fine. Uh, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> just in just a minute. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, 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 hey. What are you guys still doing here? You were supposed to be at a show. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to introduce our lovely manager. Yeah, she's usually not like this. Yeah, she's usually worse. I heard that. <laughs> Where is my limo? Good. Okay, come on guys. Please, get in the car. Sorry, folks. We gotta go. Come on. Chris, can you grab my blacklist, Paul? Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? We can't leave these people here like this. We can't? Oh, no. Come on. You know how we feel about our fans. Yeah, that's right. Well, guys, what do you expect me to do? Send them all with you? Yeah. Wait a minute. I love that idea. How about some backstage passes? Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Make it happen. Yeah. Give us some. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll make it happen. Right, now get right. out of here. I hate all of you. See ya. Have a nice ride. Hi, Sal. It's me. Listen, I'm going to need a bigger car. Make it a stretch. <laughs> In fact, make it a super stretch. Great. <laughs> How'd you do? I mean, I made it. I just don't like the beginning. I feel like <laughs> it's almost too much. I know that's the point, but it's a lot. So we made it. The rest of the roller coaster is good. What about the pre-show, though? The pre-show was fun. I like that the cast member was enthusiastic. We saw the same thing at Mickey and Minnie's, where they were participating. You know, sometimes you ride it and the cast member doesn't shout out about the backstage passes, and then it kind of loses its luster. So it was nice, but I feel like maybe they're enthusiastic. We decided we needed a snack, and luckily, right outside of Rock and Roller Coaster, they had a pretzel stand, which sounded good, and then it got even better when we realized they still had the jalapeno and cheddar pretzel. We've never tried it. We've talked about it before. We paid a dollar extra for the what Brennan calls plastic cheese because we're those kind of people. It's not Mickey shaped, but I think it's going to be good. So the verdict is, it is very good. It has the jalapeno cheddar inside filling. The only thing, you can tell they cooked it a while ago is the only thing I think that I would say about it. But of course, dipping it in the plastic cheese makes it better, without a doubt. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, I mean, it's so good. It's the same price as the Mickey pretzel, which is a little bigger. We did get one of the last two on the pan, so like Brennan said, they're not super fresh. But I'm so intrigued now on what the sweet cream cheese pretzel would taste like. That's I don't next. think I'd like it. I think I would love it. So that's next on my try list. So we're in a little bit of a dilemma. Our Rise of the Resistance boarding pass has not been called yet. They've had it go down a couple times today. It's getting super, super hot right in the middle of the day. And so we're going to try to beat the heat and hang out in Star Wars Launch Bay until our boarding group is called. How about some pod racing, Catherine? I mean, if it's in this air conditioning, I'm down. So I was interested to check this out because Disney did announce just this past week that they are changing the name of this ship from Slave One. But here you can see it still has that same name. It won't last too much longer. So there are no character meet and greets right now. This would be where you would meet Chewbacca, Kylo Ren, and BB-8. So they have this area roped off. We were just sitting there having a nice time at Star Wars Launch Bay and someone started talking smack. I just said that we needed to come to Toy Story Mania so that I could finally beat Brendan because he has a historical record of beating me. But maybe today will be the day. I'm wearing the appropriate shirt. So I feel like that has to give me some sort of good luck. I'm feeling good about it. Your confidence is going to be your downfall. We'll see. The real question is, are you okay. going to work with me or against me? Ooh. So we always try the Easter eggs or the hidden, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. 
and uh, I'm not very good at it and I give up eventually and Brendan will keep trying so it's not that I intentionally sabotage it's just that I just kind of decide my own thing is better so let the record show that my scores would be a lot higher if I had a teammate who didn't give up on the mission you want to find a better teammate no just <laughs> saying just let the record show okay Brendan, Catherine, champion! <laughs> Best in vehicle. Oh, oh, oh. What do you have to say for yourself? I am all for a little friendly competition, but before we got started, Brendan went in for a ceremonial fist bump. And what did you do, Brendan? Snailed you. <laughs> all is fair in Toy Story Mania. It's, well, yes, but also, no. I'd also like to point out that my score would have been much higher if Catherine had committed to the plate game the strategy that we had before. I tried my very hardest to stick to the strategy. Next time. Next time. So our boarding group of number 68 is finally being called this afternoon around 2 o'clock. We weren't planning on staying here this long, but we decided to wait out for Rise to come back up. So now we're going to go do that, and then we'll head out for the day. Incoming transmission from Ray. Thank you for joining the cause. A covert resistance team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a First Order Star Destroyer that is now headed to this system. Your outpost on Batuu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pokhara. I'll regroup with you there. The resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. Remember, it is vital that you keep the location of the Pokhara base secret. Lieutenant Beck, one of our top commanders, will lead you. Affirmative. Transport is ready. Nine number nine shall personally see them delivered. Thank you, Lieutenant. Welcome to the cause. May the force be with us. Commander Paul Dameron and a squadron of X-Wings shall escort us to the rendezvous point on the car. Roger, this is Black Leader. I hear you're a fine looking group of recruits. Not a little time to waste. Let's get you on your way to the general. Wait, why are you going up? 
I said down, up is bad, up is real bad. Neither the resources nor the courage to engage us. You underestimate their conviction. Raise the shields. Shields? I see no evidence. Now! Found the alarm. All personnel to their stations. Sir, the prisoners have escaped. How brave. But ultimately hopeless. What a day. What a day. We stayed here way longer than we expected to, basically just waiting for Rise of the Resistance. If you skip that part because you don't want spoilers, skip the next 15 seconds or so. We figured out why we think, maybe it's why it's been down all day, the Kylo animatronic was having issues, so it was turned off when we went through it. So we got to see it in B mode where it's up on the screen and he's in Whisper outside, which we have never seen before. No, which, I mean, it was pretty cool. I don't think it's as cool as the animatronic. But you even said that you would have missed it if I wasn't like hitting him uh, just because it's not as attention grabbing, I guess. Like it would be easy to miss that that's where his voice is coming from, honestly. Yeah, I was just kind of waiting for him to pull us around to the side where the animatronic was and I ne wasn't looking out the window, so I never would have saw it. So thank you. You're welcome. So other than that, we had a blast here in Hollywood Studios. Our goal today was to see as many pre-shows as we possibly could. And we saw all of the ones that we've been missing since last year. So yeah. We saw Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, Tower of Terror, and Rock and Roller Coaster, much to your dismay. Well, I mean, I don't hate the ride, I just don't like the launch. Okay. Maybe they can launch it, stop, put you on, and then do the rest <laughs> of the attraction? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. Other than that, I mean, one thing that we've noticed recently, and we'll probably talk about this on the podcast soon, is with the DCPs coming in and a lot of them starting kind of their first shifts, and you can see them right now because they all have the little red ribbon saying that they're earning their ears, The it's electric. Like, they are so excited to be here, and it is wearing off on the guest, I think. If, yeah, I mean, I think everyone's just excited to be here right now. It's summer break. Uh, it's kind of the middle of the day when a lot of people do start to feel sluggish. But I agree, those cast members are really keeping it going. So our tip would be, if you're coming right now, seek out those DCPs. Tell them congratulations, ask them what they're studying back at their school. You know, they are so excited to be here and they, they are going to make your trip better just by engaging with them. And like I said, they are electric right now. Yeah, all cast members really. So we thank you guys so much for watching this vlog here in Disney's Hollywood Studios. We're having fun making these, so if you guys are enjoying watching them, let us know down below, leave a comment, subscribe, give us feedback, things that you like, things that you don't like, and we will continue doing that. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we will talk with you real soon.